Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning. It's 11 a.m. It's been a wild ride so far. I've been rushing around like a madman. Well, okay, the vlog took so long to edit because all trimmed down, it's half an hour. Like that's too long for me to be editing in the morning. But like I even cut out a ton of stuff. Like it could have even been longer. Finally got that edited. Thankfully it rendered really fast now that I'm using Premiere Pro. And then it uploaded really fast because we recently got faster upload speeds for our internet. It just was one of those automatic upgrades because it used to be so slow. And they, they kept increasing the download speed but not the upload. And so finally, we have, I keep looking over here at the stream camera. I got two cameras to look at. Finally, we have a fast upload speed, so that saved my butt. The vlog went live just now at the same time as the stream. And so I, I had almost no time to get ready. I had like 20 minutes to get dressed and get my hair done and a little bit of makeup as much as I can do. Still not wearing the mascara, but... <laughs> oh, I think my coffee is still sitting on the Keurig. I need to go grab that. I was also scrambling to just like set up the camera, get everything ready for streaming the art. I'm working on the oil paintings today. Well, just one of them, because one is still too wet for me to touch right now. But Crinkle, I am finishing today. I'm doing just finishing touches and then it's done. And well, okay, almost. I will have to do the underside of it once it is done, but I'll just use acrylic maybe. And then I'm gonna let it cure as long as possible and then varnish it weeks from today. That's the plan. Yes, yes. I'm excited to finally finish these. I'm sick of streaming it. I'm sick of vlogging about it. I'm kind of getting sick of working on it, although it's actually been quite nice, but yep. Scrump. <laughs> Left-handed problems. <laughs> the face is gone. <laughs> At least everyone else can see the face. So I'm painting in whiskers. <laughs> it's nerve-wracking. <clears throat> I have my little teeny brush with barely any bristles on it. I had the painting upside down just now to film the uh, or paint the other side. Ooh, ooh man, it's hard because you need a decent amount of paint on it, but you don't want it too thick of a blob, because then you're gonna have a thick line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've also got it kind of watered down with oil so that it uh, goes on a little smoother. It's so hard with the canvas texture. There's one whisker! <laughs> God! Wait, maybe this should be a little longer. I could even draw another short one that just sticks. I don't know. <laughs> Part of me is like, it looks, if it looks okay, don't touch it. <laughs> Does it look perfect? No. But if it looks okay, don't touch it. Baby, do you love sunspots? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The stream is now done. I'm surprised I didn't actually finish it during stream, but the pattern was taking quite a while, especially trying to compensate for the lighting on the pattern. I don't know if it's looking too modern or something. <laughs> this was the inspo for the pattern, even though it's not the same, but it's just kind of like the swirlies and the flowers. It's completely different, but that's the inspo. Suppose I don't need this up here anymore. I could easily work on this 
for twice the amount of time I've put into it so far, but you know, <laughs> it needs to be done at some point. So today is going to be that day. I still need to finish up this sleeve and down here and down here. That needs the pattern as well. And then I'm calling it done until I do the bottom strip, like the underside. I'm a bit concerned about Kitty because she's not as close to being done, but she has a lot of pattern to be done on hers. I was going to do sleeves in pattern and bodice, including this under section there. Although maybe I should do just the bodice. Will it be too much to have this in pattern? Originally, this was going to have pattern too. This, this. <laughs> or I could change it so just the shoulder piece is in pattern. Or just shoulder and just down here. I don't know. But there's a lot left to do here. So now I'm panicking. I thought, oh, I could work on this one on Thursday or something and get it all done. But it might take a little bit longer. I mean, if I work on it... Wednesday or Thursday, and then again on the weekend then maybe. I got this stamp from Amazon and some ink, and I'm excited to try it out. You can do custom messages on it, but I'll talk more about that later. I would open it now as a break, but I need to clear off this to be able to do that, so we might as well just finish the painting, and then we can mess with the stamp. For the pattern on the sleeves, I'm reaching into this pile here. I just slowly keep adding brown to it. And I've got a bit of a gradient from dark to light, sort of. <laughs> if I ever need more light, I just reach up here. And if I need more dark, I reach over here. Although actually I need to put a little bit more brown down. There's just some crusty dried up brown here. I need some fresh brown. <laughs> okay, didn't I just open this earlier today? Maybe not. Well, it's sitting here, I must have. So I'm gonna reach a bit on the lighter side for now to do this section. The pattern does not repeat properly. It's just kind of random. <laughs> like, let's have this one split off this way. Oh, might need some more oil in there. Actually, this looks like a horrible cross shape now. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I'll fix it, I promise. <laughs> I got a little butt, baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> the sleeves are done. And now I gotta do this section. But first I'm gonna have a little snack. It's day two of my new schedule. Oh God, please don't explode. So I'm doing my first evening workout and I'm probably gonna stream most of them. So it's gonna be a double stream day. <laughs> it's actually kind of bad the weeks where it lines up with the streams. I mean, I could choose to work out on different days. I just thought I'd align it with my hair wash schedule, but it's not the end of the world if I don't, because I never did that before. I did Mondays and Tuesdays before, or Mondays and Thursdays, regardless of whether or not I was gonna wash my hair that day. We'll see if I hate this, the double streams, because the way it lines up is the Tuesday and Friday streams are three days apart, and I wash my hair every three days, so if today's a double stream day, that means Friday is also a double stream day. <laughs> so I might have to tweak things. It's probably just gonna depend on my mood, to be honest. Switch it up all the time. Oh yeah, grapefruit. Oh, I freaking love grapefruit. Okay, am I calling it done? I didn't want the bottom pattern to be quite as bright as the other one because I feel like it wouldn't be as in the light source. I don't know. Plus it's just the edge. I don't want anything too eye-catching right along the edge. I think I'm just going to have to call it finished because I could nitpick this forever and <laughs> fix things forever. So yeah, I think it's done. It's done. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> It's the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm about to open up a stamp. Mm, yeah. 
This I probably don't really need to open yet, unless I just wanna get rid of the packaging. This is just refill ink, but there should be ink in it already. This is a custom stamp. Like you, you can put the letters in and change it out multiple times. I just want something to stamp the shipping boxes with that warns people to open it carefully because I don't want people slicing into the advent calendars. <laughs> I was gonna try to get, what is it called? Chipboard that is about the size of the box and put one under the advent calendar and one on top. That way if someone cuts into it with a knife, it'll hit the chipboard. I mean, it's possible they could cut through it, but it's pretty strong, but I couldn't find anything the right size other than big ones I'd have to trim, but even those are too big for my big guillotine cutter. So I just thought, you know, why don't I just stamp the box telling people to open it carefully or get one that has a knife symbol with the no across it, like no knife. I couldn't find anything existing like that. And then I was gonna maybe get one custom made, a stamp that I could use, but I probably won't use it for anything other than the advent calendar. So I thought I would get this because I could use it for other purposes too. I can change out the letters and have it say whatever I want. Show that. True that. Makes me think of Trogdor, the Burninator. Instructions. The little letters. <laughs> Some tweezers to grab them. And the stamp, and it has a label so you can stamp the paper and put the paper in here so you know what the stamp says. So tiny, oh my goodness. Was this the ink? Okay, let me read the instructions. <clears throat> Oh, this thing slides. I thought they wanted me to slide the whole thing, so I don't ask. Okay. <laughs> then put the text in, release the lock, and put in the ink cartridge. I think it's just going to say open carefully, and then a space, and then no knife. Oh, yeah, and I got to put the message on backwards. <laughs> oh, wait, are these? Oh, these are different letter sizes. Okay. Well, I'll go with the bigger ones. Oh. I might want to use my own tweezers for this. Oh my god. <laughs> These ones take a lot of force to press down. These tweezers are more precise. It could say, please open carefully. <laughs> this I even added little stars here I just don't know if I want the word carefully to be up a line so it's nudged under the please open thing I don't want it to read like one line please open carefully no night like you know it needs some separation that's what the stars are for so I might see what it looks like like this and then I can move them if I want let's see so now I need to put in the ink tray do I need to open this though oh there we go <laughs> Wait, how do I get this in there? Oh, you gotta partially press it down. Snap it in. Let it get all inky. Looks a little patchy. Come on, get more ink on there. Wait, which way? <laughs> I guess that's why a label would help. So, logo facing me. Actually, that does look great like that. I like that spacing. Oh, the kick is here. Kiki's like, WTF? Get those letters pressed on all the way. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
I could reduce the spacing between the words, maybe. It looks closer when you can see the full gray stamp, but then when you factor in the space between the letter and the edge of the gray rectangle, they're actually not that close together. But you know what? It's good. Approved! <laughs> Can't stop using it. <laughs> now I just stamp this. <sighs> I'm scared. Am I lined up properly? Close enough. It's just slightly off, but yeah. Eee. Exciting stuff. I have a secret stash of stamps down here. Actually, I forget which box it is. Not that one. <laughs> oh my God. Not that one. Wait. Wait. Where are my stamps? Did I move them? Can I get rid of them? Well, this will be my stamp refill case. My secret stash of stamps is so secret, I don't even know where they are. <laughs> And for the cat sham calendar, I don't cover up my poo. My stinky, stinky poo. Oh, the world. We have a bib like that. Beeps. What's going on over here? Don't ask me what that accent was. <laughs> oh, it's Chef Christian. Care to explain what you're making? A crunch wrap. <laughs> hmm. So it's soft on the outside and it has crunch on the inside? Yeah. Nice. So is it like a taco or like a quesadilla? You know, it's on. Wait, are you rolling it up? I don't know why I'm picturing flat when you said wrap. So yeah, it's like rolled up. Kind of. Like a soft shell of taco? You'll see. Okay. I'll see. I was also thinking you can sprinkle some cheese on top of it, like with Ooh. your salsa and your sour cream. Ooh. Look at that. Thank you, Christian. I went to get the camera to film you, and you followed me upstairs. Doing the workout. Okay, don't film the merch. I love the vibe in here with this lighting. <laughs> okay, don't show the merch. Film the floor. Watch out for the stickers down there. Okay. Put this lamp here and uh, playing some Step Mania at night. My mat just slipped. Yeah, that was very intense, Mushy Moo. So sweaty. <laughs> I need to shower, probably a bit of a cold shower because whew, it was a little later than I hoped just because we were, weren't were done eating till after eight and then we kind of cleaned up a bit. Well, we just put the food away. We didn't clean the dishes yet, but I didn't want to start the stream too late. So yeah, now it's 9.30. So I gotta hurry up. Otherwise my hair is gonna be wet still when I go to bed and I don't want that. Downloading the Animal Crossing update, woohoo! Also, I'm writing in my planner. I already started writing in it for this week, but I'm adding more. Me has a capture card. Also me. Films like this. <laughs> Got my cute joy cons. Okay, make sure I'm not flashing my crotch in the reflection. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I can show the joy cons like this in the reflection. Oh yeah. Oh God, I still have to fill in all my holes. I made a rock quarry. <laughs> And yes, I know about the mannequin method. I didn't feel like setting up that many mannequins and going in my menu that many times. <laughs> Found a sock again, good for you. I'm just here to see if there's a meteor shower, okay? I need my Libra meteor shower. Is that so much to ask for? <laughs> Wait, this is my outfit right now. <laughs> yeah, shops are closed because it's late. Ew. Guess his label. This is my rock quarry that I made. 
Now it's easy to smash my rocks because I ran out of gold. I have like two pieces of gold left, so I need to get more and actually smash my rocks. This is just a mess. This <laughs> Yeah, this is not an island tour. I don't know what I'm doing. I just wanted to see if there's a meteor shower or not, and I'm going to smash my rocks. Someone did ask if I would do an island tour. I probably should sooner rather than later. There's a lot of my island that's unfinished, but you know what? It's always going to be unfinished, so might as well just do a tour, and I can do a separate tour later if I want to. I don't know. <gasps> gold! We struck gold, boys! Oh, I'm surprised I haven't done this sooner. I saw them online and I'm like, that's too much work having to cover all the spaces on your island. But it was actually very easy. <laughs> and you can put your quarry wherever you want. There was false information floating around that half your rocks had to be on one acre and half on another. That's not true. You can put it wherever you want. But sometimes stuff like buildings will prevent rocks from spawning in. I have no buildings by here, so this just worked out great for me. Give me this gold. King Tut? King Tut mask! But yeah, I'll have to do a house tour soon. Maybe one day when I have, like, nothing to vlog, I can do that. <laughs> Although I feel like it doesn't even really belong on this channel. I could post it to the Bumble Bailey channel. I don't know. You'll get that one of these days. Wait, I should pick up the rest of my stuff, then I'm just gonna end the game. That's all I needed to see. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow for my next vlog and then the reverse side doesn't really match but it's meant to be like a freebie little print so when you get them printed glossy only one side is glossy so I made sure that the side with the art had the gloss on it just so it felt a little fancier so so here are the three